Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make an iPod Kawaii plush. And I am getting this. This is the iPod now. And this is credit to Tammy Halam. Halam, I think. Um, it's so cool. Like, extremely awesome. So, yeah, that's why I'm going to show you guys how to make it. And I just think it's really cool, so... It looks extremely awesome. Um, so what you're going to need is any kind of fabric. Like I have all my fabric in here. and I have a big fabric bucket, so I'm just going to use that. And scissors. Um, maybe a pen at the end. And you're going to need stuffing. Or whatever, fluff, whatever you want to call it. Stuff, which I don't buy it, but I do with my fluffing and stuffing. I get from any old stuffed animals that I or like when I win out of claw machines, I rip them up and I just take the stuffing. So I have a whole bunch of stuffing, and you use less than you think with stuffing. So I guess let's just get to it. Okay, you're gonna need scissors and a uh, sharpie or pen. And I don't know if this, if exacto knives cut fabric, but we're gonna learn and figure out today. And so, since I will need my sharpie, I'm gonna go grab it. Where's my sharpie? Sharpie. Where's my small, thin sharpie so you can write everything. So, let's get started. And you're not only going to see me here. Okay. Let me pick a color. Use like the color that is closest to an iPod color, I guess. Um, I don't have many of those as I put in my stuff, actually. thought I had a bunch, but I don't. I have black. Orange, I have a lot of orange. I guess I'll make an orange one. Same one she same color she did. But it's so nice. So I'm gonna just take my orange fabric. And this is oh yeah, I told you I forgot. You're gonna need any kind of little sewing kit. Um that's just a little one I have. And I'm gonna go get my iPod. This is my little iPod. If you can see it. I don't know, is it still recording? Wow, okay, yeah, it is. Just making sure. Okay, I don't know how low this thing can go, so I hope you can see that. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my orange, this is really bright orange. Whoa. Okay. I'm just gonna find it out some more. Mm. Wow, my friend put a tag on my iPod, so I'm just gonna take it off. Because it's not that bright or anything. Okay. Just gonna take my sharpie now, trace a little bit on the outside of it. Okay. Leave some out there. Okay, I'm just gonna keep going. You're also going to need white fabric. I know I'm tracing pretty much a little bit bit on the outside here, but if you guys can see that somewhat. Well, maybe that was a better angle. Alright, let's get you back. Where that works too. There we go. I'm just going to that side. I know this isn't the exact size, but... Close enough. <laughs> and I'm just gonna fold it over here so I can get two of them out. Does it work? Do it black or nice work on fabric? No, I don't think so. Crap. Well, it's not even the sharp side. Smart. No, it doesn't. Okay. So, yeah. You can take your scissors. Oh, you can't see. Can you? 
black right there? I hope so. And you can maybe zoom in. Maybe. Can you see it? Can you see it right there? Okay, yeah, you can see it now. Okay, I'm just gonna cut that out. This would be like so much easier if I had an exacto knife. Or if the exacto knife worked. And today I've just been browsing at like kawaii stuff. So that's why I got this idea. And I saw kawaii iPod plush and I'm just like, that's really cool. I need to show them that. So. Oh, crap. Okay. Is that pretty good? And even the right... No? Yeah, it's not going to be perfect. It can be a little sketchy-ish. She uses felt, but, you know, I'm going to use fabric because I have just a lot of it. Let's see. That's pretty big enough. doesn't have to be exact or, like, all the lines are perfect. So now you have these two little things here. Oh, now you're meant to buy you so far six. Okay. Just have to make sure. Now you're going to take a white. And you're going to need black also. You're going to go back to the picture. Yeah, okay. You're going to need white. Right now. Just one white square. So I'm just using some t-shirt fabric. Honestly, I don't know how big this is going to be, so I'm just estimating. Is that big enough? Yeah. I'm sure by, like, another time, I'll probably be able to perfect this, like, really good. And I'll make an updated tutorial probably later. Okay. You're only going to need one square for that. You can either glue it on... Or sew it on. I kind of suggest sew so it looks better. But now you're also going to need to use your face parts. You're going to need a circle. Two circles of black. So weak. If I sing, don't be surprised. You guys know it's pretty usual for me. La la la. I have two big circles, but I need a smaller circle out of each of them, so I'm just going to figure that out. I know some of you guys probably are looking forward to seeing a new um, duct tape or anything, but I was working on one and I kind of failed and blah blah. So then I found this and I was just like, sweet! Just like you. And there's another one. Oh, there's another one. And it's not circle so. Oh, yeah. Now it's more of a square, but it's also not. Okay. And you're going to need another one of those. And you're going to need something as the smile. Um, smile. Just a little smile. You can put that on. Let me see how black shows up. Like, if it's the same exact as that. Yeah, you can use a black marker for that if you want. You can do that for the face, but I just like prefer, I prefer the fabric. I really do. Now you need a needle. There are a lot of needles in this little thing I have, so. And for the black, you need black, obviously. Let me go back. 
10 minutes, I got 10 minutes left to put down. And we're going to need black thread for this part. You should always sew a smile on, and I can't get the needle up with my nails. Okay. So my nails aren't as long right now, as usual. Of course, it's bent. I'm sorry, you can't really see what I'm doing. Wow, this one's gonna have a hole. Don't you hate when these things happen? You grab one, it doesn't have a hole, and it's all messed up. I hate this. I'm about to lose my patience, and I've barely even started. Some of them, I don't like that. Then you have a hole, and it's all confusing. This one does have it. I'm trying to put the thing on the needle. Okay, I'm sorry, it's taking forever. Okay. Okay, so I'm about to get really mad. None of these has humongous holes. Like, bro. Get some holes. It's just the string is taking me out. Ah! Sorry, I might have radio is saying the area I live in, so I had to, you know, block it out because I know you guys can hear it. Alright, maybe this will want to go in this time. 